Well, hello everyone again. This is Vitaly and welcome to our February art challenge. Um, before we start, just a quick overview. This is, as you all know, our uh, Facebook group and loads of questions. Where can we find uh, whatever associated with the challenge, like a reference and uh, description, whatever. Everything what related is uh, always pinned to featured section on the top of the um, our group in the Facebook. Here is the description. Here is the uh, uh, reference picture. Also, all the videos will be there as well. Simple as that. Uh, I'll try to um, duplicate links uh, or to my website. It will be links to the um, YouTube, everything. But uh, so if you just check this section first, it, everything will be there as long like during the February, then it will be moved and just stay uh, in the um, under the hashtag. If you say um, click the February art challenge hashtag, you will be brought to the section where everything is related to that thing uh, inside our group will be there. Okay. Now, first video of this series is the um, sketching. Now, what we're going to need, uh, I will, you can obviously trace it if you wish using um, Lightbox, any available aids. Uh, but first, I always do quality photograph if I use a reference for the picture. Uh, photographs and anything printed uh, stuff is absolutely fine to work with. Even sometimes even better for the beginners because you can work with this for a quite long time you know, and lighting condition will not change, right? So it always will be exactly the same view for you, like, and uh, there is no changes that could happen during the time you're working on something, like with the life nature, and especially when you, while you're learning and uh, trying to get skills working with the pictures, good reference pictures is always a good idea. Also, uh, it helps, you know, to study details a lot because when you can like have a closer look at the picture, you kind of can read and register much more details, but and uh, details are critical when we talk about good picture. So details, constant lighting condition, everything is good. So uh, you can redraw it. You can use, for instance, as I said before, maybe a piece of um, uh, paper and trace it uh, against the window light box again. But today I'll show you how to transfer it directly from here to uh, paper. But again, I always use scrap paper before I uh, do anything with the watercolor paper uh, I will be using for my painting Fabriano very light stuff I think it's 100 something it's 80 I, I don't know it's quarter of um, a big uh, large sheet of uh, watercolor paper I when I buy it and, and big pieces I just cut them in halves or quarters and this is a quarter of it uh, it's very deli delicate, like, uh, and if you start to draw and erase once again, it could be messy and damage the paper. So to avoid this, we use something that is print printing uh, paper, simple stuff, so I can draw and do whatever I want here, erase as many times as I need. Let's talk about tools even for this thing. So I've got this, uh, board with the clip. Uh, I placed it on the desktop under some angle. I, I'm using this bit here so that I can clearly see what I'm doing without any distortion. Uh, I will be using today three types of pencils. 
Uh, this one is HB pencil will be used for sketching. Uh, B or 2B something softer I will use for tracing and uh, tra like you know uh, transferring uh, the sketch onto a watercolor paper and mechanical pencil 0 0.5 thickness HB will be used for uh, redrawing uh, my uh, final sketch on the watercolor paper. That things and eraser um, we will be like I would recommend to use uh, putty erasers right this one is good enough okay it always comes wrapped in some plastic so we will get rid of it and it's ready to use good stuff why so that usage of this will prevent appearance of loads of flakes when you're raising for instance even you know something like that you will raise it no flakes everything stays here it's needable okay very nice thing to work with okay let's start now hb pencil and my source for some reason people in the printing company printed it like for me like this I wanted it this way, but it, they printed like that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm happy. It is what it is. Now, how to transfer it without any like extra aids? So like uh, from here to there. What I need to do is just um, lay down here my composition, which will consist of uh, proper relation between height of the stack and width of the stack basically i need to calculate how many say widths will fit into height of it i don't mind this berries forget about them they we shall not worry about them and i start on my uh, clean paper with setting up height of this stack of my future picture uh, it could be for this stage it could be even easier if we we can directly transfer because i think that will fit practically perfect into my uh, uh, future um, artboard so good enough so i can place it like this and roughly mark height and the bottom for my height uh, stack of pancakes so this is the height this is as high as it goes now i need to measure from the far right to the far left of the composition i can use my pencil and it fits like that let's see how many of this will fit vertically and exactly the same it tells me that composition uh, or say boundary box for my stack will be practically a square it's good enough uh, all I need to do is just take this take that measurement and place it horizontally so I know at exactly my length of my pencil do it this way um, like that so I need to fit my pancakes into this boundary box very simple task so I just make it a little bit darker now from here it just direct copying of what you see uh, what's important here is just um, read exactly how many like uh, um, pancakes you get so uh, this one on the very top is really hard to read uh, but it's there you're supposed to like you know notice that and say very very uh, rough sketching at the moment i need just general idea of everything 
Now this one goes as far as this one. That will be a little bit shifted this way. And here again. Mm -hmm. And this one there. When I was looking at the picture, I actually, I didn't like the, uh, the idea with this kind of board that's sitting at the, at the bottom. So I am gonna skip it. It will not be there. So I will use only maybe just that piece of paper that stuck sits on. Okay. Nothing else. Then I need general placement for all my berries. Uh, this one is there. This one is like a jump between the syrup and um, one here, one there, one there. Okay, from here I will start to develop uh, details within my sketch. Okay, let's continue. So just from this point when I have established general idea where are my individual uh, pancakes, berries, so I can start from there. I'm not doing anything in regards of the syrup yet because it hugely depends on everything that I have uh, the rest of it, the berries and the pancakes. Okay. So I don't really care about so there's a nice details here so need to try to catch them all register them and include them in our picture so especially see here that bit is looks like that because that berry covered half in syrup okay so but we will get there now from the middle of it gets my pancake that's a really irregular shape it goes there and disappears under the pile of those things uh, the syrup the next one goes practically from under it like this it has a very distinctive corner there and that berry is in here this one is thick and that berry I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the razor like on this because but I will use it on the uh, watercolor paper that's for sure uh, pay attention so say that pancake shifted more this way this one shifted more that way it has to be reflected also make sure all this irregularities imperfections in shape get you know reflected in your drawing i'm not getting carried away with the old details like this and that it all will be done with the paint all i need as usually it just um like a contours outlines nothing else that will do me so and especially I've noticed in the some ready uh, picture so 
these bits, they actually belong to the pancake. They're not part of the syrup. This one is like a droplet, but that not. Okay, so that might be a little bit of help. Okay, this berry here. So I'm very kind of on the general shape, general. So that's it. And here will be something that represents the paper under it. Now I can go and do my syrup. And that is the tricky stuff. First, that berry partially covered by the syrup like this. So that has to be uh, shown. Then it flows that way gets like that like this see here some bit of the pancake is exposed and not covered by the syrup so it has to be shown as well now maybe just a little bit like that couple of drops that extends to the edge of the second and then and it kind of wraps around the uh, this berry then it partially covers the berry here gets under it flows further around that covers that completely and then hangs like this And and gets a little bit here. This is quite unclear, but that berry completely covered with. this substance well I think this is it simple as that that's all you need to do just just like that and from this point I got it to transfer this general uh, picture onto my watercolor paper and then I will do final uh, drawing on the my you know watercolor paper with the mechanical pencil and that will be more detailed okay so at this stage sketch is done uh, if you watched my previous videos you know what i'm gonna be doing i will kind of making of this the carbon paper so i will flip it over and using something soft I have a very large box with the pencils here and I usually do something like with the uh, 4B, maybe even softer, uh, whatever I can find is this, what's this, 4B, 4B is fine and I need to shade completely that part to cover my sketch. So this is the how it's done. Okay, I think this this will do me. Uh, to make sure it um, will work, I will check that against the light to see if my 
picture is completely covered. So if you just hold it against the light source, you will see uh, if your shaded area completely covers your uh, sketch. Next step is to transfer my sketch onto uh, water color paper. Uh, as I said before, it's a very simple Fabriano uh, paper, Fabriano Artistico. So I will place it here. Very carefully, will place my sketch over like that. I will need perhaps few bits of masking tape first of all to hold my watercolor paper in securely in this position so it doesn't move oh my mm -hmm. For this just a little tap at the bottom maybe at the sides nothing special and absolutely the same way sketch go over the old masking paper just right and also needs to be secured at the top with masking tape so when you trace it doesn't move and also I can lift it up to see if my transferring works fine uh, for transferring, I will get a little bit softer pencil, the reason being, so softer pencil basically leave less uh, damage to watercolor paper. Uh, uh, when I say damage, I mean, you know, if you press too hard, it will leave grooves uh, on the surface, not um, entirely welcome thing, okay? So just start now, um, when I did first line, I will lift it up and see, perhaps if you can't see it, but I can see it's just barely visible and it's good enough for me. So I can continue and transfer my picture completely. All this. Time to time, I'm just gonna check. I'll just bury here. Done, done. That goes to be. And I left with very faint lines so that I gonna recover and turn it into the final perfect sketch with the loads of details that I require and for that purpose I will be using mechanical pencil uh, quality of this pencil is kind of irrelevant but what is important is the thickness of the lead here it has to be not higher than 0.5 millimeters or 0.3 is good anything higher even 0.7 too heavy i tried it 
trust me on this one it will not work because we need very light line here and when i start to rework it i'm trying to this time get all these tiny details you see on the berries <clears throat> So that every line in this picture is absolutely clear to me. I know where it goes and what it means. And so it's supposed to be for you. Okay. particular berry is very interesting shape so I'm gonna spend some time to do it right and that flow Good. Now uh, I will do this one as well. So what also I would like to point while we go at uh, is just yeah like this. Mm, don't draw any highlights. So just forget about it. No reflections, no highlights, just the uh, outlines, just the contours of the um, items. Everything else will be done directly with brush and, and paint. spot I have no plans to use um, loads of water here and this is why uh, my choice of the paper is you know light paper not heavy also it will not require any special preparation like mounting or maybe you know that sort of things we don't need that no that's kind of that okay mm -hmm. this one here then again i'm i'm not doing any details inside of the pan case i don't have to draw shapes of this burnt places you know the um, edges like here no 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 just contours just the contours don't overload it with the details it's also uh, kind of could be a problem you know so just don't do it so it doesn't belong here then now this one is Oh, yeah, that little imperfection belongs there. A 
like so. Another one. And See what happens when I use that uh, special um, rubber. It helps me um, when that thing goes like this. I was absolutely right. Okay, final bit. As you can see, that piece of paper, this corner of the paper slightly covers it, it uh, like sticking up and it covers the edge, the bottom edge of our pancakes like this. It will be done very faintly, so I don't need extra details here. And last berry here. Well, I think this is it. That is my sketch done. I'm ready for paint. So in the next video, I will try to release it um, as soon as possible, of course, and it will be uploaded on YouTube. Uh, we will start painting, but uh, we will talk more about how do we uh, match the colors and I will talk more about this. In the second video, it will be completely uh, dedicated to uh, color choice. How to mix it, how to choose it, uh, and there will be loads of useful information. Don't miss it, you will enjoy it, I promise. And in third video, so we basically just paint them. It's not a big job compared to, uh, say, that uh, rustic door we done in January. It will be quicker, but still, Three videos coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy it. And just the last thing, uh, the way I release the videos, uh, I do it like not just um, because I'm too busy. It is, I am busy. I don't have enough time for doing like this every day, but it also will help you to develop some level of patience when you're approaching the jobs with the like watercolor because it's kind of it's important you have to study a lot you, you have to be actually like a little bit slow on this and maybe during our exercises our like trainings you will get more patient you will spend much more time on your works you will understand that not everything is supposed to be finished in one sitting you kind of can you know spread your tasks, your, you know, uh, steps during the time. It could be one week, two weeks. Okay, N not necessary. You have to do some stages like and like draw it today and paint it today. Absolutely not necessary, especially uh, if you like limit it on time. That approach helps a lot. Okay, once again, Thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.